that we will always use in color. Say it. What? Culinary. 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 <laughs> For eating. <laughs> that works. Culinary. That word. Uh, purposes. <laughs> For eating purposes. Oh. <laughs> but me. <laughs> That's a fact of food. He's <laughs> Almost way laugh. Anyway. <laughs> but if there's one person in this world that can instantly kill Mint, it's me. For the third time now. <laughs> Okay, good afternoon and welcome back to One Step at a Time Farmstead. I'm Lucas and my wife, Danielle, and we are so happy that you are with us today. Today, I actually just want to do a quick short video, and that will be planting herbs or sowing herbs. <laughs> Basically, people say that you should be very careful where you plant your mint because very quickly it can take over your whole garden. But if there's one person in this world that can instantly kill mint, it's me. <laughs> For the third time now. <laughs> Yeah, so basically we just came from the nursery and my wife got uh, some new chocolate mint because with the move, moving from the previous property to this property, I managed, managed to kill the peppermint again. So... Now we've got another one, <laughs> a new one. Okay, uh, just also to say it is the 1st of May today. It is a public holiday here by us, Workers' Day. It's also my, my father-in-law's birthday so happy birthday dad so that is why my wife is at home today with me and can actually help me in the garden anyway i'm not going to plant vegetables this month due to the fact that there is we are entering our winter time now late autumn early winter and there's not much that will grow and those that we can grow we basically don't eat so yeah i don't want to create a garden with just kale and then we're not going to eat it in any way but we did look at herbs herbs <laughs> Okay, five, five. No, no, no. Some yeah. herbs that we can plant now, that we can sow, and one of those is the mint that we can plant or sow now. I've also got thyme, which we use a lot in our cooking, and also we are learning about the health benefits of thyme and other herbs at this moment because with our mini food forest we want to plant you know a lot of herbs between 
the, the fruit trees that we will always use in color. Say it. What? Culinary. Culinary. Color. Culinary. Culinary. <laughs> 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 For eating. That <laughs> <laughs> is culinary. That word. Uh, purposes. <laughs> <laughs> For eating purposes. Ow! That's me. Catch a sack of food. <laughs> he bit my foot. Shit. Well, most of my life. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, also some chives. I say oregano, but most people will say it's not oregano, it's or oregano. Yeah, oregano. Oregano, oregano. And then parsley. We also got other herbs this past Saturday or Sunday. Saturday, which is rosemary and lavender. I'm keeping that in house in the office at this moment. My wife's table is overtaken by all kinds of <laughs> her study tables, overtaken by all kinds of plants and flowers, I'm rooting ginger, yeah, all the fun stuff, but I'll only, I think it is August or, or September that I can transplant some of those, um, so to overwinter I'll keep them in the office, and the funny thing is my daughter actually already started harvesting the oregano and the lavender for making hair products and yeah stuff like that so i thought it would be safe inside but maybe not <laughs> if we have any left yeah september we'll transplant. transplant it okay so today we've got a little compost bin right just outside our um our house where we uh, put all our kitchen scraps and stuff like that in. Also the carton boxes that we used when we moved to this house, um, I broke up and put inside the compost bin and then there's paper bags. Yeah, the paper bags from the grocery store. And like I said, the kitchen scraps and garden waste and stuff like that that is in there. And it's basically full at this moment. So what I'm going to do is just to top layer it with a bit of compost. And it will kind of be like a Hugo culture raised garden bed. But then for winter I'll plant our herbs in there that we can grow now and while we've got that composting it's not a wasted space but we can actually use it as a bit of a herb garden which is close to the kitchen and we can grow our own fresh herbs so that's what we are going to do today hey. <laughs> oh and she got me some new rooting powder as she blames me for killing her mint I'll blame her for throwing away my <laughs> my rooting powder so she bought me a a new container and um, hopefully this weekend a friend of mine will bring some uh, cuttings from these fruit trees and I'll start rooting them. In the meanwhile my experiment um, is still going in my office with the uh, uh, plum and apricot tree and I have to 
um, admit that I actually made a huge mistake and the cuttings in the bottles in the jars um, actually did receive a lot of direct sunlight and yesterday afternoon when I went to go and check on them it was like touching something in an oven those jars and whatever were hot but I did move them to shade so hopefully I can still save and see what's happening but yeah maybe I did make a huge oops oops but anyway when I receive all the other fruit cuttings from my friend Dino I've got some rooting powder now to to start them at least Okay, so I just want to show you here. Yeah, this is basically the compost bin from, you know, for the kitchen. Like I said, we've got some carton boxes in here. We've got newspapers in here. We've got kitchen scraps in here, eggshells, yeah, the paper bag from the grocery store, roses for some reason, yeah. some more kitchen scraps. And all that, and what I want to do now is just, you know, add a layer of leaves. From the garden. I don't want to make a mess now. And it's, it's got some very good compost at the bottom already. Even coconut ask in here. Uh, all these boxes. Oh. Then. Just to show you some certain, some of the compost that is already in at the bottom but yeah there's a lot a lot of bath and boxes in here so I'm just gonna add some leaves <laughs> make it a bit like a yugal culture Okay, that might be better. Yeah, so that is a good start. Sorry, the wife is complaining that I'm making a mess. In here we've got some leaves, some grass clippings. A 
okay? And let me just go and get some compost. Maybe I'm wondering, do you think you should water this down before I add the compost? So you can settle a bit. Okay. What do you think I should mm -hmm. add the compost and then water it in? Now, let's put some water. Okay. Where do you think it comes from? On your own side? Yes, on the side. So local. <laughs> okay, yeah. So we're just going to, going to soak this in. Nice and well. This one. There you go. No, uh, but it's those boxes. It might shed the water as well. Shoulder and poop and whatever here. And this is actually very deep stuff coming out here now. Shoulder and poop and worm castings and that is actually the base of the base that's floating away now. <laughs> Don't be by turtle. I didn't even see it, thanks. Some sticks in here. Already went down quite a bit. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go to Mok. I think I might have to put in Two bags of compost. But I'll see. Closer. This thing's heavy. 
Out. These grass rhizomes, you can also just take it out. Yo. You don't have to do it to your hands, I'll do it. Yeah. Oh, grubs. Yes. Sass. The grubs is a good thing. No, it's a piece of wood, you can leave it. As I can be. You can buy it with this. <laughs> you can also leave the rocks and the clippies. <laughs> now, all kinds of stuff you hear. And I think I'll put another one. Yeah, no, I think it's well, let's see how deep it is. They're just there by your side. Oh, no, I think it's deep enough. Yeah. Piece of plastic. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's see your mint. Where do you want your mint? What is this? Yeah, you put the mint now, then it's not in the middle. <coughs> okay, let's see. Thank you. Okay, remember mint spreads quite quickly, but I think all these herbs might spread quite quickly. Yeah. But it doesn't matter because eventually, all over the food forest, the herbs will spread. Okay. So thyme. Chives also spreads quite readily. Oregano. Awesome. Yeah. Then we can kind of make. Okay. Let's say from half here to there. And half of this to here. Because <coughs> we've got five herbs now. But it was a hard kid, and by trying to sweat out the robe of us. Huh? By trying to get picky. Is it all? Is it all going to try? Yeah. Here we go. Let me just move the wheelbarrow out of the way. Okay, what do you think about this? Then we make one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's say chives that side. Time. You want went in the middle or in the corner? 
nasty in the middle. So the mint. And then parsley there. Parsley and yep. oregano. No, no, shark that that for Okay. I mean, we can kind of so willy nilly here. Yeah? Mm. Of course, I mean, it will will grow and it's basically just the compost bin. And I mean, if we need to move the compost again, yeah. We just take this and transplant and or harvest. And depending on how many seeds are here, you know, we can always leave. Okay, let's do them in. Yeah, see there's a lot of earthworms and everything as well. Oh, this thing is a bit root bound. But it will spread. No, no, no. But okay. let's not fuss too much. Okay, now it's your OCD versus my OCD. Is that in the middle? <laughs> it will take. It's a stick. No, man, it's a stick. <laughs> See. Like so. I mean, you can see already some fungi rooted in it, so it's doing a good job. Of